Hello, I'm Chuck Burlap, and this is Boston 24 Action News. So, has Aerosmith broken up or not? Last week, Joe Perry told the Las Vegas Sun, I saw online that Steven said he was going to leave the band. I don't know for how long, indefinitely, or whatever. Joe Perry had to read this online? Ouch. It's like a bad high school breakup. While others can only question and speculate the future of Aerosmith, Boston24.com has actually obtained a letter written by Joe Perry to Steven Tyler in response to Tyler's quitting the band. Dear Steven, why are you leaving me? Was it something I said? Do you still like me? However, during a recent Joe Perry Project show in New York, Steven Tyler made a surprise appearance, announcing that he would not be leaving Aerosmith. But you know what I heard? Susie told me that she heard from Richie, who heard from his cousin's husband, who works as a writer here, who's having an affair with the producer, that Steven's just doing this because the breakup would totally devastate Joe Perry and Steven Tyler's parents. Okay, well, I wasn't going to do this, but uh, I had something I wanted to announce. I, Chuck Burlap, am in love. <laughs> yeah, I have a new girlfriend, and uh, she's fantastic. She has a little bit of an inner ear problem, uh, causing her to be a little off balance sometimes, you know, uh, a little wobbly, but, uh, but I'm always here for her to lean on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> there she is, speak of the devil. Hey, honey, uh, honey, uh, whoa, whoa, honey, you shouldn't be standing that close to the track. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Oh, the train's coming! Somebody get her! Don't just wave your arms! What are you doing waving your arms? Get her! Go down there and pick her up! Ah! 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 Oh! Oh god! Oh my god! Okay, she's okay. She's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, it's okay, folks. <laughs> this kind of thing happens to her once or twice a week. <laughs> whoa! whoa. <laughs> oh, that girl of mine. Ah. Ah. I'm on a new diet. You know, just trying to shed a few extra pounds before the December beach season. So I found this new study out of the Boston University School of Medicine absolutely fascinating. They found that when the body is repeatedly deprived of foods rich in sugar and fat, well, you know, like these examples I have here in front of me, that will actually trigger a chemical reaction in the brain that's similar to drug addiction. The study, uh, the study focused on crash dieters, so people like myself, who get used to eating sugary, fatty foods and then suddenly cut those foods out of their diet. Um, uh, apparently, the, the brain will suffer uh, um, oh, uh, increase in, an increase in, in chemicals that uh, cause stress and anxiety. Uh, so that's why uh, crash dieters can, can get so strung out and, uh, oh god! Oh, don't judge me. Don't you dare judge me. I don't care if it's prop food. I'm eating it. Oh, oh it's all lukewarm. Oh, oh, how long has this been here? Really? That's... that's a long time. That would explain the flavor. It's, uh... Mm. It's kind of tangy. It's bitter tangy. Um, I imagine that's not healthy. That probably also explains the burning in my esophagus. <laughs> For Boston 24, I'm Chuck Burlap. I'll, uh... I'll hit you up again when the news... <laughs> This is probably good for my diet.